Hi, and welcome to Adventures with Grandpa on the Homestead. So, we still have some projects to do, so why don't you come along? The first thing we have to do is sand and prep the wood for painting. So, phase one of four is done on the house and now we're going into the back of the house to uh, paint the extension. So the wood really absorbed a lot of that paint. The work continues. So we just finished the second coat on this part of the house and uh, this part of the house as well. So now we've got to take down all that scaffolding, put that away and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Well, we finished most of our uh, painting jobs and uh, I just wanted to sort of recap what we've done with the uh, Aero spray gun. Um, we managed to go through about, uh, I'd say, 20 gallons worth of uh, product, about 10 gallons worth of primer, and about 10 gallons worth of finish uh, coat, uh, all in latex exterior. Um, we've got the entire house done, we've got the entire garage done. Um, so it really worked out. Uh, uh, very well for us to use the airless spray gun. Now it's a little bit different than uh, painting with brush and roller, of course, um, but as far as where I'm concerned, this really saved me a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, we did manage to uh, spend a lot of time setting up things like the scaffolding for safety. We uh, spent a lot of time uh, uh, masking uh, off the windows and uh, other parts of the house and the garage to make sure that we didn't uh, get any overspray on the garage doors or on the windows or doors or anything like that. Um, a couple of things that we did use that we found were very helpful, um, of course, is this uh, paper dispenser. This particular one's made by uh, uh, Scotch Brand, who also makes tape. Um, there's another one that's made by 3M, and apparently that's the better one. Uh, although we, you know, we, we had reasonable success uh, using, using this thing. Um, you just simply pull out the paper and the tape together and uh, tape off whatever it is that you wanted to do and the paper and the paper all together when it comes out of the machine. So, you know, that worked out pretty good. And that was certainly a bit of a time saver. We also just sort of used some, um, used some uh, cardboard in order to uh, prevent overspray in areas that we couldn't really mask. You can't really mask brick off all that easily, but um, because there's very little overspray on the airless, you can just use this, uh, you know, piece of cardboard or, or something similar uh, to, to block the spray from hitting uh, what you don't want to paint. So it worked out pretty good. Um, definitely, you want to invest in one of these uh, respirators. Um, you don't want to be breathing in this stuff, especially if it's oil paint, um, you know, um, made by petroleum products, but even with the latex, you don't want that going into your lungs. And certainly a, uh, a good item to invest in. Um, also, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, um, these Tyvex, Tyvex suits. Uh, we use them uh, for uh, putting on anti-fouling on uh, sailboats and stuff. And you'll probably see us doing that this, uh, this fall when we go back down to pick up the Sarah Lynn. But, uh, you know, these are quite good. They certainly protect your hair, you protect your face, they protect, you, you know, your clothing. So you're not, uh, you're not painting all your clothing up. So good little investment. They are a bit warm. So what were the pros and cons of using an airless? 
as opposed to brush and roller? Well, basically, uh, uh, the, the pros are you can get a lot of paint on in a very short period of time. Um, our um, finish coat on the garage, for example, it's a double car garage, probably an hour and an hour, an hour and a half to do all of the finish coat. That's climbing up the ladder, that's spring, that's everything. But of course, um, it was about a two hour job to do the prep work um, and the priming and uh, about an hour to do the finish coat. Very, very time uh, uh, beneficial. Uh, same with the house, we went through that very, very quickly. And uh, of course, we saved our shoulders, we saved our arms, our wrists, and all of that other stuff because, uh, you know, handling the uh, spray gun is a lot easier than brush and roller. Uh, it does use a fair amount of product. Uh, and secondly, it does take a bit of time to clean up after you're finished. And that's probably the only downside is that the cleanup process is about a half an hour to really get everything clean and flushed out of the machine. If you don't, you're just gonna you're just gonna wreck the machine and uh, you've thrown away uh, 750 bucks or whatever it costs you to, to buy one of these. Uh, this one costs us about 750. Um, that translates to about um, about 500 bucks American and well well worth the money in terms of time and effort and, uh, and, and savings. It does use a bit more material, so uh, expect to use a little bit more. The cleanup process is a little longer, as I said before, uh, but if you can overcome those two things, you're gonna really appreciate this machine. Um, the other thing is uh, with these guys is that uh, um, there's, you can put anything through it. If you're painting with oil paint, if you're painting with latex or if you're staining, you can use this machine for just about anything. It's very versatile. You may have to, in some cases, uh, roll after you've spray painted to get a uniform finish. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice to, uh, to get the, uh, the, the, the pattern correctly. Uh, if you want to have some, uh, get some information on aerospring and aerospring guns, uh, you might want to look up the Idaho Painter on Paint Life TV on YouTube and they have some very informative uh, videos on uh, how to use these and they do evaluations on all the different models. Now if you just like a little bit of a small project but you still want to spray paint, uh, Graco makes uh, a handheld uh, sprayer, uh, battery operated for uh, smaller amounts and so on and so forth. So that's my evaluation on these guys. I didn't, you know, they're, they're not paying me obviously to do this, um, but uh, I certainly would recommend going with Graco. It's made in America. Uh, it's a high quality item. It's not a cheap offshore knockoff. Definitely has the quality to do a good job. So, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and Come along to our next adventure. I'm sailing, sailing down that river, sailing down that river of dreams. I'm sailing down that river, but it seems that I don't know where I'm going. But when the day is through I'll come back home